Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. Uh, we just have a couple things to go over with you guys today. There's an aggravated assault drive-by firearm that we're going to talk about. Just a quick reminder of the parade coming up tomorrow. And then Detective Hummel will come up and talk about this week's crime of the week. So first we'll get going by the aggravated assault drive-by firearms. That is under case number 17C-022573, 17C-022573. It occurred in the 2400 block of North Green. It occurred on April 6th at approximately 1.20 p.m. On April 6th at 1.20 p.m., a 67-year-old male reported to police that an unknown suspect or suspects shot at his residence in the 2400 block of North Green. Damage was located to an exterior wall and also an interior wall into a bathroom inside his residence. Uh, he was the only one um, home, I believe, at the time, and there were no injuries as a result of that. Officers conducted a neighborhood and several neighbors reported hearing four to five gunshots around that time. And officers also received information that a gray Chevy Monte Carlo was seen leaving the area at a high rate of speed shortly after the shots were heard. There are no suspects at this time and we would ask anybody with additional information on this case to contact Crime Stoppers 267-2111 or as always you can contact investigators as well. No indication that it was a targeted event and obviously no motive or any suspect possibility coming from uh, the homeowner. So right now we're just at uh, square zero for that or square one. Okay. All right, a reminder of the parade. Don't forget the third annual support local law enforcement parade is tomorrow. Again, the parade starts at 1030 a.m. at Central and Main and then there will be a block party immediately after at 3rd and Main and the party will continue until about 2 p.m. tomorrow. So please come out and celebrate and then remember to also wear your blue for Brian uh, while you're there. So now Detective Hummel will come up and talk about this week's Crime of the Week. Good morning. Uh, this week the Crime of the Week happened on March 13th shortly after 11 p.m. It occurred at the Driftwood Lounge which is in the 1200 block of East MacArthur. The victims in this case, two male victims, had left the lounge after listening to a band and they were approached by two unknown white suspects while getting into their vehicle. The first suspect demanded money from the first victim, produced a handgun, and as the victim was reaching into his pocket, that victim was shot one time in the left elbow. There was a short uh, fight that ensued and then that victim was shot again on the right side. Victim uh, dropped to the ground briefly and the second victim ran towards the lounge and was also shot multiple times in his legs. The two suspects were last seen running eastbound towards a trailer park in the area. The first suspect is about 25 years old, uh, wearing a black hoodie and dark jeans, had no facial hair. Number two is about 30, wearing a small, or I'm sorry, wearing a brown multicolored hoodie, blue jeans, and a brown hat. Both of them are described as white males, about six foot tall and slender. And again, they were last seen running uh, eastbound into the trailer park. Just a, a reminder too that um, I had done a press release about a month ago about Crime Stoppers' new uh, software program. Just a reminder that you can still make an anonymous tip through calling 267-2111. Also by going to the Crime Stoppers website which is Wichita Sedgwick County Crime Stoppers.com and clicking on the link so you can make a web tip or downloading the new Crime Stoppers P3 app either in Google Play or through the iPhone. So we continue to get uh, great tips, great information from the community and we just want to encourage people to continue to do that. Uh, so far over the last month we've been very successful in the information that we've gotten from citizens on multiple different types of crimes and we really appreciate that to further the relationship between the media, the community, and law enforcement. Thank you.